Yeah, I think that whether you're single, you know, couple, divorced, or dating, um, understanding your attachment style and also the attachment style of the people that you're involved with can be really helpful. And the goal is to become more secure in your own attachment. And it's important to note that attachment style, it's on a spectrum. And so it also depends on what's going on in life, right? Before the pandemic, if you are living your best life, you're seeing your friends all the time, things are great, um, you might have an anxious attachment style, but it doesn't really come up. But then pandemic hits, you lose your job, you don't see your friends, suddenly the person that you're into moves across the country, and then you're like stage five clinger vibes, right? And so, you know, these understanding the labels can give you some insight on, okay, Am I really going crazy? No, there's actually some reasoning why. And so I think for those who have more of an avoidant attachment style, um, yes, you can become more secure. And I think one of the things is if you're an avoidant, you might be drawn to someone who has more anxious tendencies. And so usually the push pull is you want a bit more space and autonomy. They want a little more connection uh, and more time. And and it's not that anyone's at fault. And so part of your role is learning how to communicate those boundaries and limits instead of avoiding them. Be like, you know what? I'm just not going to talk about it until you explode. Um, because that's a tendency if you don't, if you don't learn at a young age of, you know, when you feel the uncomfortable emotion, when you feel that smothering from a parent, whatever that is, um, instead of having the voice to be able to say that, and we weren't equipped with those tools back then, you now have to actually repair yourself on how can you communicate like a functional adult. 